But something you might not have tried is using tasks this particular way. We can say that we want to run a task, and then when the task is done, we're going to continue with yet another task. And then when that's done, we'll do the same thing. And what's interesting about this structure is if you're looking at the syntax here where we have task, task, and task, this is going to be the previous task. So what that means is we can take the result from the previous task and go leverage it in the next step. But this is just like a pipeline. The first task that we're running is the first stage, and then we chain them all together. And in fact, the last stage of the way that I have this here is going to be the sync of the entire pipeline. Let me go expand this and show you. The first part is the first stage that we had in our pipeline, right? We're doing the text cleaning. And the next part is going to be this word frequency part. Part. We're counting the words. The next part, as you might guess, is the summarization, and we already know that the sync was going to be the console write line. In this particular case, there's literally no benefit or any reason to go structure it this way with tasks. I just wanted to illustrate that tasks afford us this opportunity to effectively build a pipeline with the same type of syntax.